Okay, welcome to another in our series of Chains of Reasoning videos. Uh, we take a single topic, a single question, and look to see how you can build a successful, effective chain of analytical reasoning, which will get you great marks in your economics papers. This video is on microeconomics, and we're going to focus on the economics of monopsony power. Here's our question, or here's our task. Analyze how monopsony power may affect consumer welfare. Always good to start with a clear definition. A monopsony is a business that has buying or bargaining power. A good example would be a retailer like Asda or Tesco or Sainsbury's. They have power when they're buying supplies from farmers, from growers and other manufacturers. This means that, using here a connective phrase, a monopsony, in theory, can use their purchasing power can use their bargaining power to negotiate a better price for the raw materials and other inputs that they need to buy. As a result, again using a connective phrase there, as a consequence their variable costs of production will be lower and this will lead to a decrease in the marginal and average total cost. Good use of connective phrases here and making the link between monopsony power and cost specifically variable cost that's a good analytical chain if the monopsony is a profit maximizing firm then a fall in average and marginal cost other things being the same will lead to a lower equilibrium price in this way another connective phrase the final consumers may benefit uh, because prices will be lower and that will therefore increase their consumer surplus and economic welfare. Can you see here in blue, monopsony, variable cost, profit maximization, consumer surplus. We are using key terms, key concepts within our chain of reasoning. Now that chain is perfectly fine uh, and that would score well. Uh, you could add a little bit more and put in an assumption. This assumes that the price paid by the consumer is the main determinant of their welfare. Of course, that may not be the case uh, for all people. A good chain of reasoning could be supported by a diagram, for example, showing a fall in cost or an outward shift of supply as the bargaining power of the firm brings down their costs of production. Analyze first, then build your evaluation. If you've got a good chain of reasoning, it'll be easier to evaluate. I'll make uh, two evaluation points here with you. One is that the supplier, the grower, the farmer perhaps, they may actually have to leave the market if monopsony power causes them to make a loss, subnormal profits where price is less than average cost. And if they leave the industry, well that could reduce the amount of choice available to consumers in the long term, which would be detrimental. And the second evaluative point might be that if the farmer, the grower, is getting less uh, for their products, for the supply price, there's less money available for investment and innovation, and that could have a negative consequence for product quality. It might cause growers to move towards an intensification of farming methods, industrialised farming, which could well have environmental concerns and perhaps raise issues to do with ethical issues, animal safety, animal welfare, for example. But if you have a good chain of reasoning, it's much easier then to build the subsequent evaluation. Okay, thank you for joining in this video on monopsony power. 